Ladies and gents, Guardians of the Galaxy, are you looking for a Titan build who smashes everything in his way to pieces? Then you've come to the right place because this build channels your inner Hulk and gives your rage an outlet while smashing everything to pieces. This Titan build is also next to unkillable. I mean, I said next to the architects, there's just uh, nothing you can do. But besides the architects, he's basically really unkillable and just running around, smashing stuff to pieces. And with this build, we will also have a cheat sheet, as always, where you see all the synergies on one slide for that beautiful build. So stay with me on this one and let's get this video started. And before we start the whole cheat sheet thing, uh, here's one, one thing you might wait for and it's important. It's uh, over here. The game breaking ingredient. And yes, the frame is around my Titan's fist. And yes, stuff like that doesn't happen by accident at Mom's basement. It's not only about the fist, uh, but about the thing that will be here on the cheat sheet later. Dirty Otis Hulk Smash Titan, it's not only about smashing, but it is mainly about smashing. So let's start with the aspect. Consecration. And we won't name that Consecration anymore because nobody can actually pronounce it correctly. So that is the, uh, the Hulk aspect. Mini while sliding to launch a scorching wave. Activate the second time in air to launch a second larger wave. Scorched targets will be ignited by the second wave. That's how great that is. That's, that's the core of the build. This is basically modifying our melee. And we're gonna use hammer strike. Surprise! We don't use the throwing hammer. And why aren't we using the throwing hammer? You can't do stuff like that, okay? Yeah, you can't do that. And I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, how cool is that? We are going with hammer strike because hammer strike is way cooler than the throwing hammer. The second aspect. The second aspect is Roaring Flames, two fragment slots. Solar ability final blows or ignitions increase the damage of solar abilities that can stack three times. Uncharged melee deals solar damage and scorches while Roaring Flame is active. Roaring Flames, okay, what does that do? When we have three stacks, we actually get uh, maximum plus 72.8% damage for our Consecration second wave melee thing. And we will talk about a consecration, which I wanted to name Hulk Smash right now, right? So we want to talk about Hulk Smash a little bit more because not everything, not everything melee related works with consecration as it does with uh, other melees. If you're looking for a Solar 3.0 Hunter build that is actually sick, I will add the link here. Watch my last week's video. The insane non-stop knives hunter. So those are the aspects. Which brings me to our exotic. We run Heart of Inmost Light, faster, faster ability reduction and more melee nade and yeah, damage and more life for your barricade. Uh, this brings me to a question, ladies and gentlemen. This season, Solar 3.0, uh, this season of the Haunted, what is your favorite Titan exotic this season so far? Let me know. And uh, with Heart of Inmost Light, there's a special playstyle connected why we use that. And this is because of our other abilities. So it will make our barricade stronger, our solenade str stronger, our melee stronger, also consecration. And this is up to 20% uh, more melee damage if you do it correctly. The reason why I use uh, this exotic and not another exotic is because of the faster ability rating, basically. Because then we can chain melee after melee. But this is also the rotation you want to run, okay? When you start a fight. Barricade, nade, hammer strike to have a maximum output for hammer strike. You could also throw your nade first, then barricade in case you want to wait for your solar nade to kill something while you have uh, barricade or to shorten the time that it actually kills something. Uh, with the fragments and the exotic done, let's continue with the fragments, with the aspect done. Okay, fragment. Ember of eruption, bigger solar ignitions. Yeah, because why not? Because why not? And it gives plus 10 strength. That's a win-win. Then we have Ember of Searing. Defeating Scorch targets grants melee energy and you also get plus 10 recovery for free. That's also for faster melee re regeneration. So bigger booms and faster melee regenerations. And I like that. And Hulk likes that. And that's the Hulk smashing Titan who likes that. And the next one is Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks make you and Ellie's radiant. So you get the radiant buff for free on top. We won't use that that much, but uh, 
It is pretty nice to have for that build. Ember of Empyrean. Solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of radiant and restoration. Uh, unfortunately, that gives a minus 10 resilience, but we will work on that and it will be totally worth it. So now we have uh, talked about the fragments the ability rotation the exotic i gonna use and you're gonna use with the hulk smash titan and all the aspects we're gonna run and now we're coming to this part here okay the game breaking ingredient of this build okay the great game breaking ingredient and that is classy restoration yes i know this is a seasonal mod you can basically have a healing nade and get something similar but not that strong like with classy restoration so use classy restoration that season and i have to say ice you have been right it is a game breaking mod if all comes together so with classy restoration okay you get into that uh, right it feeds right into that rotation okay you basically smash down your barricade then you get restoration times two and with every solar kill because of ember of Empyrean, you prolong the effect up to 12 seconds and with that rotation it's it's up all the time it's up all the time okay you have restoration point two all the time and just run around and smash things to pieces and explode folks to pieces with your consecration wave and we build but we build right into that because that's not all you could say yeah that's it that's now it all makes sense yes it all makes sense now but it will get even stronger than this so as i said with that combination you get endless restoration and yes also an endless radiant buff because you also prolong the radiant effect with the same uh, fragment that is beautiful okay and you don't even need the other fragment which have uh, which gives you a longer radiant and restoration when you activate it because you can build you can smash uh, you barricade class get classy restoration and then you just build on that and build it uh the, build the timer up higher and higher and higher uh, just be careful when you use barricade because then you will reset the timer in case it was already higher than the usual timer but then you just rebuild it and it's fine uh, let's talk about stats Let's talk about stats. So we have mobility, discipline, intellect, and recovery. But I mean, who cares about those? Not this Titan. Not you. You shouldn't You shouldn't care about that as well if you're a Titan with this build. You want to have, but you want to have strength as high as possible. And you want to have uh, 100. 100 resilience. Because with the resilience changes, if you have uh, the game-breaking ingredient class restoration and 100 resilience, then this build is basically game breaking hardness achieved for your titan because you running around unkillable you running around exploding and smashing stuff and dishing out some heavy melee solar explosive damage with consecration and <laughs> you could say is that yeah that's uh, great that's that's so uh, that's so much hardness is that even a word if it wasn't a word it is now there is so many hardness in one build and it even continues to get uh, to get on okay we have we have more stuff in the hulk smash title we have more stuff the next thing is uh the weapons you want to run with that build uh, you want to use one of the solar uh, close quarter combat options with incandescent the new perk of the solar season uh drang is pretty fine and the smg I highly recommend the SMG with the fire rate. I have one with incandescent and grave robber. And as you can imagine, that goes smoothly with this build because you basically melt guys with the radiant buff when all that th uh, when all that stuff is going. Then you smash with your hammer strike consecration melee, which reloads your SMG again. And then you just do the circle over and over and over again and just kill everything around you. Uh, then I have a shotgun with one two punch. And you might ask, yeah, one two punch doesn't stack anymore with roaring flames, and uh, that is correct. Also, one two punch doesn't work any longer, at least that's what I heard and what I see confirmed at Reddit at least. It doesn't work anymore with your throwing hammer. But it does work if you use hammer strike and if you use one two punch and you're really quick. And you're really quick uh, with your slight, uh, slight melee second wave, you can actually get that uh, damage buff. But those two together, that, 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 that doesn't work. So we have to check that later. But it is a very, very small time window because of the uh, slide double, uh, double melee. So you have to be on point because one two punch is pretty short. So if you don't have the timing perfect, but you have all these buffs up, uh, then just the good old boop cannon, the tractor cannon. So you can add a debuff if you're solo. 
it only makes sense basically if you're solo because if you're in a team uh, somebody else somebody else might be uh, doing the debuffing stuff and then you don't you don't use track the cannon in a team uh, for lost sectors obviously for lost sectors you have to mix that up a little bit uh, that's when i would say go uh yalla horn with that build uh, for lost sectors it would be great if the shield piercing mod would work with uh, sidearms soon bungee please fix that uh if you need a uh, overload option then uh, as i said the smg is uh is great with the weapons down i think we're looking at the last piece of the puzzle and that is uh, what other mods in combination with classy restoration do we run uh, with the smashing hull titan uh, those are basically the must-haves. I like to run melee wellmaker times one because that's uh, my backup if I really want to have those uh, the well on demand basically. But then I also like to run a double explosive wellmaker with bountiful wells because then basically everything I have, yeah, I don't want to go into detail because, uh, but ba basically everything, everything, everything in that build except maybe the the boob cannon can then make uh, solar whales for you and with bountiful whales and times two that's a lot so here it is uh, faster abilities bountiful whales we have in combination with those uh, faster abilities and as you can see i love those arrows okay everything goes everything goes into that ro rotation and that is a lot of arrows and then everything buffs your consecration over here it's i think we have some amazing solar synergies in this build going uh, and in addition, in addition to your must-have mods, I also have a few optional ones. I forgot actually what they are called. Uh, this is to get orbs of light with solar kills or with solar weapon kills. Uh, then we have a uh, melee kickstart. Melee kickstart, also nice to have. It's a nice to have because when you run uh, lost sectors, legendary lost sectors or anything with champion modifiers, you unfortunately have to get rid of that uh, because you need... The champion modifier mods and it's elemental light defending uh, defeating a combatant with your super spawns elemental well that matches your subclass energy type uh, that's also nice to have if you don't have the that's basically if you don't want to use something like uh, explosive well maker because that's expensive or bountiful well then you can chime in one of those and just if you super get some wells as well it's just i had space so i used it so here's the thing uh jay Regarding melee stuff and consecration, something I found out is uh, because I am a heavy, I'm a big fan if I use melee builds of heavy handed. Heavy handed has no whatsoever influence on consecration. I think that's because when you activate it the first time, you had 50%, and when you activate it the second time, you basically deplete all your ability energy. And I tried it a few times. If you use that with heavy handed and a charge with light, it doesn't work you can it's easy to check because you can check your your charge with light stacks and they won't even deplete so that was at least that they don't deplete is a good way to check that so unfortunately that mod isn't working as well so that is uh that is uh, the build dirty Odyssey hulk smash titan build and when you if you want to enjoy this build to the fullest and uh, farm some uh, containment add some heavy metal to your playlist rock that build and just uh, devastate that containment playlist farm those new opulent guns because with this build it is actually a joy switch it up a little bit if you're running uh, legendary lost sectors to farm these uh, the exotics you still need it will be a blast with that uh, a little bonus fun fact on that one uh, some of you i know jay saw that already on twitter if you use that build you don't even have to run like an anti-barrier mod because you just one hit those guys be before they get their barrier up i love it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this little piece of content and if you want to see more destiny 2 stuff especially builds check the playlist to my left and if you are more interested in what youtube algorithm has in pedo for you then check the one below that playlist if you like my stuff please leave a like and help mom's basement grow see you next time dirty hottie out